like I was saying, I don't know an 18 to 35, 40 year old that would rather not live away from home than live home. So the system hasn't changed. But there's less responsibilities for living at home, I mean, and there's not as much pressure to produce outside income. Some parents make you pay for living at home. You know, I'm going to believe just don't live at home, live in the fucking street first. I'm not the kind of cuddly waddly that, oh yeah, you can come home anytime you want. You know, you can come home to daddy. Oh shit. Get out there and fucking work. You'll make it happen. If you don't make it happen, you'll starve to death. I'll say a prayer for you. I'll get the nuns on it. I'll get the convent girls on it. And I'll get the priest on it. We got plenty of prayers, so you get out there and hustle. But remember, when you start producing less and less, after week after week or month after month, it's because you're losing focus. And that's what the, the, the system of the weekly reports is all based on. And I'll be able to tell. I'll be able to tell Benoit is, you know, out doing crap, fucking around, or whatever he does. I mean, by the third week. Oh, day trading. Huh? <laughs> yeah. By, by, well, that's kind of like a crack deal. By the third week, if that long, I'll be able to tell. Remember how we said, you know in ten minutes if they're fucking bum or not. Well, as Robert will tell you, I know almost instantly. And in as soon as they open, they don't even have to open their mouth, really. I can tell. I can tell whether they're worth a shit or not. And then I'm wondering, I got five interviews. I mean, I'm, are the other four going to be fucking bums like this one? Then I think, what, what the fuck's human resource doing? Because I'm the top of the food chain for interviews. I'm the last one. I'm kind of say everybody else has approved them. So does the, what's the chairman thing? And if they bring me a fucking bum, what has everybody lost their mind? That means all the IQ test, the EQ test, the three or four interviews has all been pissing in the wind. And then now they want me to waste my goddamn time talking to this illiterate bum. So then I go back to... We don't need them. We don't need HR. We don't need any of these fucking people. Now, I'm sure you can imagine HR thinks that my stuff is politically incorrect. It's against the human resource laws of so-and-so. And I say, fuck the human resource laws of so-and-so. <clears throat> Minutia never makes any money. <clears throat> it only makes manure. Somebody's got to do the detail in the organization. And remember, we're in the close now. Your doubts are not products of accurate thinking. Your doubts are pro products of habitual thinking. Because common consensus has dictated, and your parents raising you has dictated, to think crooked, skewed, ugly, whatever word you want to describe. They didn't do it on purpose, but they certainly did it. They certainly did it. I want you to get ruthless about trying something different. Easy for me to get ruthless. I know it's hard for you to believe that it's easy for me to get ruthless. But when I say I'm going to rip your fucking head off and shit down your neck, I mean it. There's a difference. And those few times that I took the investment bankers by their skinny fucking necks and choked them, I really wanted to snap their necks. But I didn't because I'm kinder and gentler now. I also knew I'd go to prison. <laughs> That's the real reason I didn't snap anybody's neck because I knew I'd go to fucking prison. Yeah. I left Wall Street just in time before I got in trouble. I left. But with all the trouble everybody's getting in, I'm thinking of going back now. Maybe I'll wait till I'm 70 and I'll go back and I'll rape, pillage, and plunder again. You know, and then they'll say, Jesus Christ, he's back from the he's back from the dead. He's back from the 80s and 90s. My God, we thought he died. I, I'm a lot of things, but nobody's gonna uh, mistake me for being dead. God will not look over the medals, degrees, or diplomas you have. As we talked about, he's gonna look for the scars. 
I want you to take risks because you can't fall off the bottom. I say sarcastically, tongue in cheek. You're closer to the bottom of the economic pile than the top. No matter, even the most successful person here. So, you can't, I mean, you don't have too far to fall. When you're only three inches off the bottom, you don't have too far to fall. So, might as well take some risk. The people who call, we call gifted are different from the crowd in one very special way. They accepted their gifts, they let it happen. The high achievers, the persons I've been talking about for six days, the persons you admire are those individuals who open their gifts. Those winners have more gifts because they claimed them, took them out of the wrapping, and used them. We all have these things available to ourselves. But heretofore, many of you haven't opened those gifts haven't opened those doors because we're genetically coded to avoid risk even though fear is, is false expectations appearing real. Even the devil can quote scripture. Even the devil can quote scripture. Having created every splendor, God may safely be credited with some, of, some sense. It's unlikely you were given gifts you're not, not supposed to have. So take your light from under that bushel and let it shine. As I said, some people say, think I'm the devil reincarnated. It's not true. I'm a gypsy <laughs> reincarnated. I'm a gypsy. The difference between knowing the path and walking the path. You've had a lot of stuff from me. You're going to get DVDs and tapes and all kinds of shite from me when you leave. If you haven't already received it. But reading it and talking it is not the same as walking it. I would rather have you react in a bad way, Hansi, not physically choking him, because I wouldn't put that on YouTube. But you know what I mean, like we discussed last night. Oh. That, that's better than taking the politically correct soft pussy way. Especially in the industry they're in. You're not doing brain surgery here. You don't have to convince a surgeon, oh, can you come in and actually shift tonight, honey? You know? In your industry, I'm not suggesting you whack them, but I mean, you can probably whack them. And they're probably not going to take you to labor court. Studies show that if you don't take action within 21 days, no action will be taken. Our studies show if you don't take action within 21 hours, 21 hours, every hour that passes past 21, it's not geometric, but it's arithmetic, it lessens your ability or the probability of you using this stuff and therefore the ability and the probability of you being successful. It's simple. It's simple. Bob from Bavaria came back because he was starting to lose focus. And he's probably more focused than many, many, many people that have come through here for the last few years, and that's why he's made so much money. Because it's tough to lose focus. And if you've got kids running around, you've got grandkids running around, you've got girlfriends, mistresses, why, whatever, running around, it's hard to stay focused. It's hard. It gets back to, again, how bad you want it. In August 18, 1957, my dad wrote me this. Uh, I didn't really uh, understand how important it was until, oh Christ, 20, 25 years ago. I used to use, I'm ashamed to say, his signature to forge stuff when I would miss school. When I'd have to bring home a note from school because I got in a fight or I beat somebody up or I threatened a teacher or something. They say, write a note to my father, and because they knew who my father was, they'd say, we want your father to sign the bottom of this note. So I wore this, I still have the thing, it's in the library. I wore out his signature with uh, tracing paper and pencils from years of copying his name, M.S. Pena. That's how sacrilegious I was as a kid. I'm sure none of you, hopefully none of you fall into this category. But he says, to my son Dan, the future is yours. Approach it honestly. I've talked about being honest, moral, ethical. Everything we do here is that. And ambitiously with a will to fight for the right of mankind. 
and yourself. Fight for the right of yourself. Always balance the rights of man with the rights of society. Have faith in yourself. That's what I've talked about the whole week. And faith in people. You can't do this without other people. For if you trust no one, you cannot trust yourself. you got to trust other people. And you're going to make mistakes, Hansi. That's okay. But then you're more. You change. The name of this seminar ought to be Constant Change. Always morphing. Honor is a gift a man gives himself. The bedrock of this whole program is honesty. If we were dishonest, and by the way, this is how the mafia works. The mafia works in QLA. They don't call it QLA though. The only difference is when you don't when you fuck around with the mafia, you can go put a cap in their ass. Which I really am bent towards that end of the continuum anyway. But they make people responsible. You're responsible for Brooklyn. All the drugs in Brooklyn. You're accountable, I want to see the fucking money every day. What have I said all week? You're accountable for prostitution in wherever the hell that place you live. I want to see the numbers every hour to make sure the bitches are on their backs. You're, that's how the mafia works. The mafia system is no different than this. The only difference is when they hold you accountable and then you fuck up, you've got a real pay price to action. The cost of not being successful could be your life. Uh, which, tonight we're going to talk about a dinner. Which one of us would rather be in charge of prostitution? Who would like to be in charge of drugs? Just because Benoit looks like a crackhead, maybe. And he's not, but maybe he'd like to be in charge of the drug aspect of our portfolio. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> For certain people after 50, litigation takes the place of sex. Corbett all said that. It hasn't taken the place for me for sex. And when I'm afraid of, close, uh, of losing, I never win. Okay? Remember how we talked about children. They're, they believe in Santa Claus. They be, believe in uh, the Tooth Fairy and all this stuff. And then what happens to us? I believe in Santa Claus until I'm 10 years old. People used to make fun of me. We grow up. Life beats us down. And then we don't believe and we don't dream anymore. Unlimited trust equals unlimited possibilities. Now, I wouldn't hang outside a space station like this. <laughs> you know, and I got a lot of balls. But I wouldn't hang, dangle around up in the middle of space on some little, fucking little rope. I wouldn't do that. But I would, the guy that jumped at, from 23 miles. Felix Bunker. Yeah, I'd do that in a heartbeat. I wouldn't even think about it. I'd do that in a heartbeat. I'd do that. But I wouldn't... Somehow I think, oh, the last thing I need is my legacy to be the only guy to float off into space and get fried by the sun. Warning, if you violate these immutable laws of quantum leap advantage, you don't just run the risk of failure, you will not succeed quantumly. If you apply these immutable laws, you run the risk of being bad mouth, ignored, laughed at, or even ostracized. People are going to think you're goofies. People are going to think, what happened to this bitch here? What happened to you? What happened to Attila? What happened to Hanzi? Because it's so far out there outside their comfort zone, they won't be able to relate. Don't be telling your parents. Trust me. My parents didn't know what I did. All my dad would ever ask me when we bought this castle, it's not drugs, is it, Dan? <laughs> it's not drugs. And as my dad said, when I got that big award many years ago, and they came and they interviewed him, they said, Mr. Penny, Mr. Penny, aren't you proud of your son? They said, yes, I am. He said, but one thing I can say for sure, he did it without me and in spite of me. So your goal is to be successful without your parents and in spite of them. Because the crooked thinking that you have, for the most part, not 100%, but for the most part, is based on how you were raised. Whether you're black, blue, yellow, green, or purple, this shit works. It's worked all over the world. Learning to be alone without being lonely is very important. You're going to be ostracized, you're going to be alone. Marcus is more or less alone now. Good thing he lives out in the middle of nowhere. So it's, uh, you know, but this, you're going to be like a mountain climber trying to climb a peak and where you got very little support. In this particular case, he's got Mark and his brother, Hansi. Okay? Hurry up, Bunzi! Hurry up! More production! 
Does he yell that loud? No. No, he doesn't yell that loud. Okay. There's been plenty of articles written about mostly women being lonely at the top, not guys. I don't see how she could be lonely. But there was an artist, she's a fan, she's an IT girl of about 15 years ago. If you want to hunt with the big dogs and pee in the tall grass, you got to take a quantum leap. Or if you want to just sit on the porch and lick your balls, like most dogs. <laughs> so you got a choice. Key to success, make new choices, establish and create new priorities, new ideals, the results, and new lifestyle. I cannot change or heal what I do not change. Motivation is like fire. Unless you add fuel, it goes out. And this sounds self-serving. I invite you to come back, like Doris, like Robert has, like Marcus. The shit works. There's no question about that. You've seen and heard enough success stories from Mikey the Pizza Boy uh, with pizza under his nails to Robert, who we were fortunate and blessed. And I know I'm not telling you to call Robert or to bother him. I know Marcus talks to him from time to time, but I'm sure he would talk to you. Um, the, uh, you would have to prioritize. You would have to make an appointment. You would have to tell him the pros and the cons, because that's how he thinks. But I'm sure he would talk to you. Um, we got one shot at glory. I want you to be committed to do what it takes to have what you want. Uh, and I want you to release the fucking beast in you. The biggest difference between me and my contemporaries is not I'm just not Dan Dan the money man because I'm not afraid of voicing my opinion and I'm not afraid of doing stuff that's politically incorrect. I scare most of the guys, the young guys, um, that uh, are running the funds now because they know, once I know all the questions they ask and two, I can more or less tell if they're full of shit and three, I've normally done more deals than the whole fucking team has. So that gives me an advantage. So to the extent that I can help you, I will, of course. Hunger, ma hungry, hunger makes beasts of men and demons of beasts. There I was. That's Charles. Charles with the uh, Razorbacks up in Rwanda. Now, when I did that, I scared him. You see? Because I was screaming. I see? And I, he, he had been so docile, and then I scream, and then I, it fucked everything up, and the gorillas are running all over. And, and the, when the, these guys are big. They weigh like six, eight, nine hundred pounds. But I have pictures of them that close on my Facebook and my YouTube. Now, I told you about, you don't have to notice one, two, three, when you see a deal, it's hot or it's not. For the guys, you know that she was an attractive woman when she made the movie 10. Most deals you should be able to look at and know if they're hot. Marilyn Monroe was an attractive woman. We don't have to make every mistake ourselves. I told you about Sophie's choice. Nothing you're involved in is life and death. We want you to live life in your own way. And the secret to life is, in good health is a bad memory. When you make a mistake, forget about it. Internalize what you learn and move on. Correct. We are imprisoned by our weaknesses and liberated by our strengths. Now just think, in closing, just think of your hell as being a video, a DVD that you're going to look at the rest of your life of the things you could have done, young lady, but fucking didn't. Just think of a video, Benoit, of the things you could have done and perhaps should have done, but didn't. And you're going to watch that for fucking eternity. Thanks.